Shake hands, both of you. Ward in the white trunks, Neri in the black, and already Shane Neri starts taking it to him on the ropes. And Neri going to the body, which is Ward's specialty. 10 or 15 times with that hook uppercut. Finally, you put some power, and it's a new story. Hey, Ward's alive here. Neri and a big right cross. Neri was hurt. Ward making good on his promise to start much faster tonight. This isn't going to be any 33 punch round for Ward. That was his punch stat average coming in in the two preceding fights. He's coming out trying to match Neary blow for blow, and now Neary starts to come on. Round, but Ward lands a counter left hook. Right from Neary's nose. And a big uppercut from Ward. Snaps Neary's head back. And another vicious left hook to the body. What a great round one. Cut, a body shot. Those are all power punches. That guard possesses a left hook because he puts his right foot in front when he throws it. That's why it's hard to defend against. Controlled version of round number one. There's a good left hook by Neary as he stepped in. Another uppercut. This time the left hand by Ward comes back trying to find the left of the body. Neary digging his own right hand to the body. They trade shots. Raises the question, can he fight at this pace for 12 rounds? And Ward bubbled there by a right cross from Neri. Neri goes to the body and to the uppercut as he tries good discipline work by Neri. Ward trying to trade his way back. Now he's coming back. Now he has regained, he's restored some energy and he's ready to exchange. And the left hook to the body and the other guy comes back. Neary comes back again, and now Ward. This is like a movie fight. To the body. Step back, step back. Uppercut landed for Neary. Punch. This is a test now of will. Strength strategy. Neary can stay close. Strategy, because the average fan would probably look at this and say, where's the strategy? They're just trading shots. Not at all. Neary's close. Elbows to his size. He get hit with a good one. He blocks it. Lord hurt Neary. Now Neary gets his legs back. And he lands two important jabs. Moves around better. See, Neary's corner gave him good advice. Box this boy. This is a pitch battle. As if a lot of body shots below the belt. Something that you're not. Straight right hand lands. Referee, the man in the red shirt, is Vicky Mann. Questionable as a judge. Oh, good body shot by Neary. Those punches are to create a hard straight right go. hand upstairs. Water standing back, waiting to counter that right hand, and he's waiting on the hit shot. Big right hand lead by Neary, landed flush on Ward's chin. Ward is going to have to do something dramatic late in the fight, as he has before, because it's going to be very difficult for him to get a decision. Come back with a body shot. Again, reward the reward. And again, Neary's still handling them pretty well. And as George Foreman points out, it's the left hook that poses the biggest danger. What do you want to do? Now, there's a left hook that landed upstairs. Ward, for the moment, has dispensed with going to Neary's body. And it's his left hook to the body that won him. Took to the body. What's your hurt today? Now going back upstairs. Oh, no, no. 
Ward trying to put more steam. Harris got to stay dedicated to make it. Ward, find him. Follow me around. Find me. Punch the left hook. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's a good combo. Now, something things, some things are different. Oof. That was a great fight. He had to win this. He you was... talk about committing to the body punch. I love it. And he beat a strong, dedicated, good fighter who fought a good fight. New WBU light welterweight champion of the world, Irish Mickey Wall.